So today, I'm gonna show you how to make ultra buttery smooth slow motion. And there's a few different ways to do it. It's really simple to do, but we need to understand some basic math. Typically what people will do is record their video in 60 FPS and then they render it out in 60 FPS. That's good. However, if they want to slow it down to say something like 50% speed, well now you're taking that 60 FPS video and stretching it across two frames now. So instead of having a smooth looking video like this, where you have one frame for one second, you will have one frame for every two seconds. And then it ends up looking like this. So the easiest way to get smoother slow motion is record in a higher frame rate. Personally, I record in 120 FPS. However, that isn't necessary because DaVinci Resolve has this neat little feature that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Now, if you're wondering how to record your videos in 120 FPS, there's many different recording softwares out there, but I use OBS. This isn't going to be a tutorial on it. It's just gonna be super quick, but you go into your settings, you go to video, and you want to change this to fractional FPS value. You're going to leave your denominator at one, but you're going to change your numerator to 120 because that is your frames per second. And there you go. You're recording in 120 FPS. You can set that to 240 FPS if you really want. Anyways, now there's a few different ways you can slow a clip down. What you can do is right click and then choose change clip speed. And then you can just slow it down or speed it up to whatever you want. You can uh, click and drag to change the speed. Or you can type in a specific number. And then now you have slow motion. Or you can speed it up. And now you'll have not slow motion, fast slow mo fast motion. But what if you have, uh, you know, a spot in the middle you want to slow down, like right here? Well, what you can do is select the clip and right click and choose retime controls or you can use the hotkey control r you will be greeted with this now if you hit this drop down arrow you will have all of this and it's pretty self-explanatory you just click stuff and it does the thing but the thing is is what is a speed point well if you click that this basically adds a little point in time where you're saying hey Right here, this is where we're going to start messing with the speed of the clip. So if I wanted everything before the clip to be sped up, what I could do is click this top part and drag it to the left. And you'll notice that percentage is going up. Now we're at 150% speed. And look at this. But I don't want that. So control Z, what we want is to slow this down right after the kill. So we're going to find where we want this to end. So right here, and then we're going to add another speed point by hitting this drop down arrow, add speed point. And now all you have to do is drag this top part right here. And you can see we're at 19% speed. You might be asking yourself, well, what does the, the bottom part do? Well, this changes where that speed point is. So right now we are on this frame for the speed point. And if we drag it to the left. Uh, we're changing which frame uh, we're, we're starting the, the speed point on. Now, what happens if you don't want this speed point, right? You want to change it. You could slide it, right? Or what you could do is find the area you want the speed point at, add the other speed point, and now you can get rid of this speed point. However, if you choose clear speed point, you're just going to delete the one in this little gate area right so what you would need to do is zoom in here oh look at that now your clear speed point it's going to delete the one to the left there you go and to reset the clip it's pretty self-explanatory reset clip now here on my timeline we have a 30 fps version a 60 fps version and a 120 fps version i'm gonna slow these down to 50 percent right at the same spots so you can see the difference another neat little thing that you can do instead of dragging out these little speed points if you want a specific preset speed just go to change speed and there you go you can do this so just we're gonna go to 50 percent 
Actually, you know what? 25% with all of them. And you're going to see the difference between each of these speeds. This first one, 30 FPS. And my timeline is done in 30 FPS. If my video is at 30 FPS, my timeline's at 30 FPS, and I slow that video down to 25%, that means we are stretching one frame across four seconds. So watch how not smooth this video is. Oh God. Alrighty, now we have a 60 FPS video slowed down to 25%, which means we are stretching one frame across two seconds, and it's still gonna be pretty bad, but this is tolerable to most people. It's still not good though, don't settle for this. And now for the final video, a 120 FPS version slowed down to 25%, which means we are gonna have one frame per second and look at how buttery smooth this is it it's hold on there's a little lag there you go it looks normal that speed the, the the motion it looks natural this is good that's what you want now earlier i said it isn't necessary to record in a high frame rate and that's because we can do a little bit of uh trickery here to make these videos appear in a higher frame rate than what they actually are so while we have this 30 fps video selected let's go into our inspector and at the very bottom you will see retime and scaling now i wish that i could explain all of the technicals to you the two settings that we want to pay attention to is retime process and motion estimation the further you go down with each of these settings the more intense it's going to be on your computer but the better it's going to look so for example we have this 30 fps video it's all if we change this to optical flow oh look at that we have a little bit of motion blur what's going on here looks a little better now almost like it's smearing those frames but we can make it look even better by changing our motion estimation now speed warp is the best version but it is only for the studio version of davinci resolve so enhanced better is going to be the setting that we select and watch the difference here look at how smooth this looks now this is way better than what we had before just for contrast here's the before Oh, oh, oh god and here is the after looks a little bit better now and remember here is that 60 fps video slowed down and here it is with optical flow and enhanced better that almost looks perfect compare that to the 120 fps video most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference the last thing that you need to know is how to kind of smooth this out because we're going at a hundred percent speed right to 25 percent speed and that is real dramatic difference there so what you can do is right click and then choose retime curve this will bring up your graph thingamabob if you've used the spline tool in fusion all you have to do is just click whatever point you want and then do that right there this will stretch out that time so now it's a little bit smoother of a transition we could really bring it up here so now it's seamless into that speed so anyways that's how you do slow motion or velocity edits inside a davinci resolve if uh you want to see more tutorials let me know what you want to see Leave a comment down below. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Leave a like if this video helped. And subscribe for more videos. Goodbye.